Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Sprinter 33BH Campfire Edition. This model is great, it has some of the changes going into fall 2017, Some a lot of these things you'll probably see on the 2018 models. So let's go ahead and start on the front here, we'll make our way around and then we'll head on in. One of the first things you'll notice, this guy right here is the power tongue jack. This really simplifies hooking up and disconnecting your tow vehicle. All you have to do is touch the switch right here that will raise and lower the tongue. Also there is a light on here so if you need uh, to hook up or disconnect at night you can go ahead and flip that on for some added visibility. Right behind that's your propane tank cover. Uh, to access the tanks, it's nice and easy. Just undo these two thumb screws, lift the door up, and that will give you access to your two 30-pound tanks. Behind the propane tank cover, you'll see right here, you have a nice little square. That is where your battery box belongs. Moving back a little bit further, here is your black diamond plating. Uh, this helps protect the front end from any rocks or debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way it doesn't scratch up your beautiful fiberglass front end here. Speaking of the fiberglass, if you take a look, this is the new, de uh, new design that Sprinter has come out with. They, uh, the color they took here is kind of what Montana is using, which is really nice, beautiful color. Uh, I like it a lot better than what they had before, so I think they definitely did a nice job there. You know, the graphics on here as well just blend very nicely, so I definitely think it's a big improvement uh, over what they had. Come around to the side here, you'll see it is a magnetic latch, which is nice, uh, makes it very easy to put up. Big pass-through in there too, especially for a travel trailer, you know, you have a lot of room, so if you have larger items like zero gravity chairs, grills, things you need to put in there, you can do so. Then right over to the side here is uh, your hookups for TV, so if you do want an outside TV, you can go ahead and hook that up as well. Power awning on here. If you take a look, this actually goes over the slide, so it is a nice large power awning. Just touch a button, that rolls out. Same thing to roll right back in. LED light strip underneath too. That way you don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. If you see in the head of the awnings there, this unit is equipped with the Solera speakers, so that way when your awning is rolled out, the music plays down on your campsite instead of blasting out at your neighbor, which is pretty cool. Also, those are connected to your multimedia center inside. Uh, however, it is Bluetooth capable, so if you want to sit out here in your chairs, be able to control your music, you can go ahead and use your smartphone or tablet and do exactly that. Electrical outlet right there, so if you need to hook up uh, electric griddle, charge a cell phone out here, whatever it may be, you can uh, certainly do that as well. Getting into the coaches of Breeze, you'll see you have three aluminum steps. It does have the rubber on here as well, that way you make sure you have a good grip, that you don't slip and fall after a rain or morning dew. And then you have the foldable easy grab handle here as well, which aids you from the first step all the way into the coach. The door itself is a friction hinge door, which is really nice. Uh, it's commonly called a stay put door. Wherever you put it, that's where it stays, which is pretty cool. Uh, it can withstand winds of up to 20 miles an hour. The big advantage of having this door, you don't have anything you have to tie back here that breaks off. Uh, it's not a strut where it's you know stuck at a 90 degree angle like this. So it's really nice to be able to just go ahead and put that wherever. And then of course the screen there as well. Making our way back a little bit further, if you take a look underneath, you'll see this unit does have the uh, aluminum alloy rims, which is great, less chance for any kind of rust or corrosion. Then off to the side, you'll notice little yellow plates. That's the correct track alignment system. Uh, what that does for you, it's actually been shown over time that your axles can become misaligned. Normally, it's a really expensive process in order to fix that. With the correct track alignment, you bring it in, we can make some adjustments with those plates and get your axles back in line. Very cool. Coming around to the back side here, this is the outside kitchen. One of my favorite parts about a bunkhouse is having this beauty right here. Uh, you'll see front and center, they do have a TV, so if you don't want your TV up front, you can certainly use this one right back here, which is great while you're cooking, maybe on game day. You have space to either side, uh, enough room for paper plates, cups, whatever else you want to put in there. Same thing with the extra storage right here. Now this does pull out, just undo this lock right here. You'll see you have locks on the sides, so you just put those ones in. Two burner cooktop, uh, that connects, there's a cable underneath, connects to your quick connect right there. However, if you have your own grill you want to use, you know, if you don't want to hook up this guy, not a problem, you can still use that quick connect for whatever else you want to. The thing I like about this setup is that you have all this prep surface right here. Uh, normally a lot of manufacturers put a sink there, which while a sink can be useful, for me personally, I'd rather have this prep surface for whatever I'm cooking, you need a plate to be able to take it on and off, uh, so I think this is a great, a great idea to have that prep surface there. 
fridge, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can put in condiments, beverages, whatever else you need. Definitely something I personally love having outside. Coming around to the back side here, you do have a spray port. So if you do need water access, even though it doesn't have a sink right out here, you do have the water if you need to spray something off. Spare tire mounted on the t uh, on the bumper does have a cover there as well. The nice thing about that uh, is in the, the sad event that you do have to use your spare tire, it's a great peace of mind knowing it's riding right back here and it is still in good shape. Your satellite and cable inlets here. Now if you take a look up top, you will see this unit is prepped for a backup camera. Uh, so if you want a backup camera, not a problem. You can go ahead and easily have one installed. This is for your power jacks. Uh, you have uh, ones for the front and one for the back. The really cool thing about this though is instead of using this, what I often do with these, you actually have a remote. It's uh, called the Camp Easy system. With that remote, you can control your power stabilizing jacks, you can control your slide, your awning, uh, the light on your awning, everything right from that remote. So it's very convenient and easy to use. The cool thing about it, you can stand right here. You know, if you're in a tight spot, open up your slide, make sure you're not going to hit a tree or whatever else uh, is nearby. So again, just a, a nice convenient feature to have. Last but not least, right here you do have detachable power cord up front, uh, about halfway up there you can see the black tank flush, and then all the way up front is your water inlets as well as solar prep. So if you do want solar, all you have to do is buy the Furion panels, plug them on in, and it will trickle charge the battery. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Sprinter 33BH. Let's go ahead and start off right over here on our slide. So, uh, nice big slide. You can see you have the dinette right there. They have done, made some changes uh, to the dinette, which is kind of cool. They made it a lot easier to access the storage underneath. So, while you don't have necessarily a door or uh, drop down or anything there, what they did do is they put this little loop right here on the seat so you can just lift that guy up and again makes it nice and easy to get under there. You don't have to worry about, you know, trying to put your finger into a hole and having it all tore up, whatever it may be. Again, just makes life a little easier on you. The table itself does drop down into a bed. You can see the rails running right along here. Just take the legs out. That guy sits down, put the cushions on top, and you have an extra sleeping space. Windows all the way around, make it nice and bright in here, which is great. Uh, one of the things I, I really love when manufacturers are able to do it is when they put the dinette on the door side. You know, when you have that window open, this is your campsite. This is where you want to look. You don't want to be staring out at your neighbors unless you're weird. Um, but so this is great. Open the window up, great campsite. You can uh, enjoy your morning coffee, orange juice, whatever it may be. Uh, so I love that they're able to do that. LED lights all across the top here to make it nice and bright. Your sofa, this is uh, extremely comfortable. You can see how much cushion and padding is in here. This is a tri-fold sofa. What that means is not only is this comfortable to sit on, this is comfortable to sleep on. Makes into a great bed. Uh, you can pull this out. You can see this part right here. This is part of the bed as well. I mean, look at the padding on there. So that way, if you do have guests, they're not gonna hate you for the rest of your life because you made them sleep on a blow-up air mattress that deflated in the middle of the night. They will have a uh, good night's rest. Right over here, open this guy up. You can see some great storage right there. You can really use this for whatever you want. You know, if you have a monstrous DVD collection you want to put in here, you can go ahead and do that. Um, you know, really, whatever you want to put in there, games. If you're a big board game person, it's a great spot for them right there as well. Right back here is the bunk room. Let's go take a look and then we'll come back out. So as we enter into the bunk room, uh, we'll start right over here. You can take a look. This is above your outside kitchen, of course. So your top bunk here, 300 pound weight limit, which is great. Uh, it is a little bit wider. So if you have two smaller kids, you can sleep two up there. Otherwise, if you have uh, you know, a, tall, or a, uh, a larger child, a bigger child, a little bit older, not a problem. Uh, there is plenty of space. It is a nice wide bunk. Go ahead and open this up. You'll see you have great storage along the side there. Some extra storage right here with the net, so it is very easy access there all the way around. And then your entertainment center right here in the center. Along the back wall, you have an electrical outlet, uh, which is a great place to charge cell phones, tablets, whatever it may be. The, sh the shelf is big enough to go ahead and set them there. Window here as well, lets in a lot of natural light during the day, which is great. Uh, top bunk does drop down. It's nice and easy. Just pull these guys out. That's how it locks into place. Again, 300 pound weight limit here. Another window. That is an emergency exit. You know, hopefully you never have to use it for that reason. But if you do, you know that the kids are going to be safe. LED lights all the way throughout. Uh, LED lights are a big, big advantage too, especially if you're uh, camping. You know, if you're boondocking where you don't have full hookup, because not only do these put out less heat, but they use a fraction of the power as your standard incandescent bulbs too. So 
so very cool. Then underneath here, this is a rollover sofa is what they call it. It's actually really neat. So as you can see right now, it's a couch, very comfortable. When you're ready to go to bed, this literally just rolls over. You can see the legs right here. This drops down, put the legs down, and you have an extra sleeping space. The other cool thing I like about this, I'll put the bed back up to kind of show you is right back here you have all this extra storage. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and put your pillows, blankets, whatever back there during the day, it's an excellent storage spot for them. Then underneath, take a look at that. Three very large drawers going all the way along, so definitely some extra place for clothing. And you do have another electrical outlet right down in this corner. So again, anything you need to plug in, you can go ahead and do so. Now while you're out here sitting in the couch, you know the kids are playing back there, you want to watch some TV, it's a rainy day, straight across from the sofa right here you will see uh, your TV. So that's awesome um, because that way you don't, have a, you don't have to crane your neck, hurt your neck, whatever. It's a straight shot from the main sitting area. Also right underneath is your uh, sound bar there for superior sound quality. Again, that is Bluetooth capable. That's what also controls your speakers outside. It has different zones right here, so you can control it in here, out there, both. Right up top, a little bit of extra storage there. You have the nice decorative glass. Then we move over into the kitchen. Uh, we'll go ahead and open this up. You can see there, plenty of space. Uh, seven cubic foot, fridge, freezer, Dometic. You can see that they have the guards on the back here, which is really nice too, so that way, um, you know, if you have like a half gallon of milk or something in there, it's not gonna get cut on the fins, which is pretty neat. Um, this unit does run off of both propane and electric. Then we move into our uh, the rest of our kitchen area and take a look. This actually has really good prep space. You have some space right here. You have, you know, they extended this over, so you have some extra space right there, which is awesome. Uh, good storage underneath. You can see right here, large bank of three drawers, you know, full extension drawers, very large. So not only do you have room for your silverware, but all of your serving utensils, uh, spatula, spoons, whatever else you may need. Three burner cooktop right up here. You can see they have the uh, upgraded cover on there, which is great, the upgraded grill, which I like. And a large oven underneath. Take a look at that. That's a pretty good size oven, especially in an RV. So if you need to do any kind of cooking you or any kind of baking, you certainly can. Underneath the sink here, there is enough spot there. If you want to sneak in a trash can, you certainly can. And then right over here, you have two more full extension drawers. Now you probably notice underneath there's some blue light. Uh, you have an auxiliary light right here, which is kind of cool. So that way if you want that, you know, they want that nice look, you can go ahead and turn that on. Now Sprinter did upgrade their sinks this year as well. You can take a look at the sink. Uh, I love it. It's a large single rectangular bowl, but take a look at the corners. This is, you can use the entire full length of the sink. Normally these bottom corners have a really large radius. They're rounded. And when you try to set a glass like in the corner, you can't get it to stay until it's about, you know, a third of the way. So your actually usable spot in your sink is about this big. Not the case here. So I love that they went to this style sink. Uh, high rise faucet on here too, makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes and then of course you have to have a window when you're in the kitchen that way uh, you know it lets in some natural light during the day and LED light right above at night. Uh, electrical outlet, you do have an electrical outlet here so if you need to plug anything in whether it's coffee maker, toaster, blender, whatever it may be you can go ahead and do that. As we look up top, good storage up there, great spot for pantry, it's nice and deep there. Microwave, stainless microwave, same thing with the hood, stainless hood, it is fully functional with a light and a fan. And then you have a little bit of extra storage right there. But all right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the back half. Let's head up front, we'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. The bathroom in the 33BH has two entrances and exits, one into your main living area, the other one right here into the bedroom. Down in between the doors is your foot flush lever toilet. You can see plenty of room all the way around. And take a look at this over here. Great linen closet, which is very nice. Storage all the way down. So plenty of room for towels, everything else that you need to store in here. Then here in the corner is a neo-angle shower. You see they have the doors which are in a roller track, which are very nice. That way all the water stays right down in the shower pan, doesn't get all over the floor. Never mind the coolant down there, that's just from the manufacturer, just shows that it has been winterized. But you can see good shelving in there, the hand wand. And then up top, nice big skylight, which gives you a lot of extra headroom and also lets in a lot of natural light. LED light here, so it lights it up at night. And then over here is your vent fan. Uh, mirrored medicine cabinet, you can see that does have storage behind it, which is nice. Uh, stainless steel bowl, that's cool, that's a new upgrade, so, you know, they're, again, they're just uh, putting a little more quality in here, which is great. Brush nickel faucet, uh, electrical outlet, 
and then right underneath is a little more storage. In the bedroom, you'll see right here you have a queen bed, which is great, plenty of space, and take a look at this. You do have storage underneath as well, so you need to add a little bit of stuff under there, you certainly can. Both sides, you have mirrored wardrobe, great hanging space there, a drawer down below, and when the drawer is in, of course, you also have a shelf area. If you have a CPAP machine, that's not an issue, you can go ahead and set it here. You will notice you have electrical outlets on both sides of the bed. Up top, additional shelf there, LED light, uh, another vent here, so if you wanna open up some windows, open the vent up to get a cross breeze coming through, you can do that. If you're one that likes to watch TV before bed, you will see you have TV hookups right there. But all right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the 2017 Keystone Sprinter 33BH Campfire Edition. As I mentioned at the start of this video, this does have a lot of the changes you'll see going forward uh, on the 2018 Campfire models. Uh, they definitely made some great changes, very cool. If you are interested in this model and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see all the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.